Ladies and gentlemen, there's a story that I haven't been able to talk about for a long time. The story of the person Jay Mazzini kidnapped. But today, I'm breaking my silence on this because the kidnapping victim of Jay Mazzini just got arrested for taking a bribe from Jay Mazzini to change his story. And you better believe I have a lot to say about it. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the $10 million studio. I'm your host, Coffee Time. And as some of you original Zilla holders know, pump the stock. One of our first investigations that really blew up was the Jay Mazzini story. We first covered him doing giveaway scams that eventually moved to Bitcoin. It eventually resulted in criminal charges being pressed against Jay Mazzini. It's quite the insane story. And while the walls were closing in, he actually kidnapped somebody that he thought ran a scam page that was exposing him at the time. He thought he would kidnap this person and it seemed like he was going to try to get that person to remove or delete the scam page. That story went everywhere. We, everyone knows he got arrested for that. Later, he got charged with the Bitcoin stuff, but initially he was picked up for that kidnapping charge. And so he got charged with that. Okay, that victim goes on Instagram by the name of MJ Moves. I would not suggest going and following him because I don't, I, I get the weird feeling now, given what I know now that there's this weird clout element to things. Obviously not to say that any anything that happened to him is as a result of clout, but um, judging from the situation after talking to him uh, and after everything that's happened, now I get this weird feeling like after everything happened, he kind of had this angle to him, like, or where he was trying to get something out of this terrible situation which happened to him. And it, it makes me uneasy about the whole thing. Because as some of you know, I talked to him right after the incident. He was still, like, wounded. I mean, I'll throw up a picture of him after, right after the kidnapping. I mean, he had been beaten. He had been stripped naked. There was a machete held to his neck. I mean, it was a crazy story that has been reported on a lot. And we talked about it during that show. Afterwards, he came to me. He said, hey, Steven don't show this thing because of the fact that, hey, I'm working with detectives. I don't know if they're re ready to have the story out. I say, fair enough, bud. I'm not trying to, you know, hurt your case. Now, during that time, Jay Mazzini's locked up. And I guess it's coming out now that the family of Jay Mazzini then approached MJ Moves, um, the guy who was kidnapped, with kind of a, a what seems like a bribery deal, okay, about his statement to the feds. This is the, the headline, man allegedly kidnapped by Jay Mazzini, get charged with taking bribe to recant statement. And apparently uh, our boy MJ accepted this thing and um, got what uh, allegedly an $100,000 payment in return for a new statement that was meant to facilitate the release of one of the defendants from jail, aka Jay Mazzini. Now, to be clear, it's a little confusing because I guess if he had gotten cleared from that charge, they were basically paying him $100,000 to get Jay off. But even if that had happened, I think he still would have been in prison for the Bitcoin stuff. It's not clear. But yeah, they were trying to get him off of the kidnapping charge with by, by basically paying the guy off with a bunch of money. Now, around the time this stuff happened, I'll just give you guys kind of full transparency here. I had heard rumors that this may have happened. And I did call... MJ moves about it. I picked up the phone. I won't be too specific here because even though I think what he's done is terrible here for the victims of Jay Mazzini, I still want to respect his privacy to some extent as much as I can. But essentially the conversation was, you're not thinking of taking a bribe, are you? And he's like, well, I can't tell you that. Basically, I'm like, don't do it. That's idiotic. I just, because uh, I had all I had heard was rumors. I didn't know what was true, what was not. I just heard rumors from um, some of the various people covering this. I said, this is a terrible idea. Do not do that. It's gonna hurt the victims who have been affected by Jay Mazzini. And now it looks like he allegedly took it, okay? And of course it looks like I was right that it was of course a bad idea to take a bribe, you know, because uh, he was arrested for this and charged with accepting a bribe. I believe he's out right now on release. But I think that he's, um, I think that he's just waiting to be, uh, like go to court for this. And this ladies and gentlemen is sort of what I meant by, um, I felt like, well, I feel now, I guess I didn't know then that he had his own angle because it seems like he was trying to use the situation, not at first, but at first it seemed like he was just like trying to get justice. And then he later used the information for his own benefit. Uh, now at this point, 
that's kind of my involvement in this whole thing. I know many of you guys wanted to cover this because you go, what the heck? You know, the guy who was kidnapped was, you know, now charged and stuff. But I also want to cover the Instagram stories he's been putting out there because he's been talking about it uh, publicly a little bit. Now, initially when he got kidnapped, I think he released a story that said like the plot thickens, which weird thing to say when you've been arrested. But uh, then he's kind of goes on social media uh, later on and he's still cavalier about it in a story they say are you doing well i'm doing just fine he's doing an ama about his um kidnapping charge here he's answering you know why did you change the jay mazzini story let's see what he has to say i added more to the story and they're claiming that i'm lying but all i ever did was reveal more truths okay so he's saying i didn't um change the story i just accepted a hundred thousand dollars to add more truths yeah um, I'm going to have to say, I don't really buy that too much. It's, and it's so frustrating to see this because again, Jay Mazzini hurt a lot more people than just this guy. Obviously this guy, probably the most, but, um, yeah, this is not, not helpful. This one, he's talking about, uh, the family of Jay Mazzini uh, contacting him since. They've been f***ing trying to harass me ever since. Trying to harass my family. Anybody that can get close to me, they tried. Okay. Um, here's another question. He was asked, did Jay snitch on you? I'm just going to go through these quick. No, why would Jay snitch on me? I don't know. Maybe because he's willing to kidnap you, um, to shut down the scam page. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely crazy. This is one of the things I've got to say. I mean, again, I'm still, I'm still planning to not release the interview just yet. Uh, because I still don't want it to, um, you know, affect the situation negatively. But I remember even during the interview, him being like insanely naive it, with regards to Jay Mazzini. I mean, it's like, it's crazy how much this guy, even after everything that's happened, somehow still like is kind of just has this attitude of like, oh yeah, sure. Like I'll do whatever. It's actually completely weird. Like, I don't know how anybody would have this attitude about somebody who kidnapped them. Here's another one saying, why not 250K? No comment, bro. No comment on it. You guys don't know, okay? And I'm going to keep it at that. You little eighth grader, you would have been bought with $1,000. So get the f*** out of here with your stupid ass comments, okay? <sighs> this is annoying. I, I don't actually think that's true. I don't think everyone would just take a bribe from somebody who who kidnapped them. That's extremely weird. Especially if you know how many people they've taken money from and you know where that money's coming from. It's like so frustrating to hear him say this. You've got to understand, guys, like in a way, I almost feel like that he's betrayed all those people that I've also talked to about Jay Mazzini. It's so frustrating because it's like, oh, he was a victim, but then he's kind of using it to his own devices. So frustrating. Yo, all I'm going to say is his wife is the reason he's locked up and everyone else is locked up and she's the reason that we're going through all this shit to begin with. And she's also the reason you guys all got scammed. Um, hmm. I don't really know what to think of that one. I do know quite a bit about the story. Um, some people have said that his wife behind the scenes had stuff going on. Honestly, you guys have seen how this stuff has moved. It is not some puppet master pulling the strings, okay? Yes, his wife got arrested after him, but uh, Jay Mazzini, he was doing his own thing too. This guy, he, I think he's just trying to blame it all on the wife. I don't know what this guy's thinking. And ladies and gentlemen, that was basically the last relevant story he's posted about this. It's shocking given how much trouble he's in, how much he's talking about this publicly. Uh, but yeah, he is. And so, of course, we're going to cover it. I've got to say, I mean, I can't express how frustrated I am um, on behalf of a lot of the victims who are were, are finally seeing justice, you know, for what Jay Mazzini has done. And this guy's basically undoing it or trying to undo it for $100,000. Extremely frustrating to see. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm bothered by it. For me personally, I can't release our interview in good conscience right now uh, because of all the things that have come to light. But ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much is where we're at with this story. We'll have to see, you know, whether he ends up going to facing any serious charges for this. It seems like he could, uh, but I think that puts the lockup count on Jay Mazzini as like three arrests now. Jay Mazzini, Jay Mazzini's wife, and now the guy Jay Mazzini has kidnapped. This has become quite the story. We will continue following up on it. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Are you the same as who you say? No, you're.